Hello, good afternoon, English program, primary one. How are you today? I hope you are doing great and feel better. And then I am your English teacher, teacher Marvin. Good afternoon. And this morning, before we are going to start our lesson, let's do have some reviews, okay? And then the last meeting, you were able to learn how to read and write the numbers and how to count the numbers from zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, all right? So this morning, my object, object, objective is you are going to read and write the number from one and two, all right? So let me share with you my PowerPoint and I want everybody to please focus and listen carefully. Is it okay? Very good. So I have here my PowerPoint. So welcome to primary one English program. And our subject for today is mathematics. And what we are going to learn today here in mathematics is that you will write and count the numbers of one and two. Are you okay? Are you ready? That's right. Very good. Now, we are here the writing the number one and two. So let us start with our lesson for today. And let's do have the read and write. Okay, what number is this? This is number one. But the spelling of one is, it starts with the O, O, and E. Everybody say one. One. That's right. Very good. Again, everybody say one. Good job. So if we are going to write the number one, so that is one. And then if you are going to spell the word one, that is zero, O, N, E. O, N, E. One. Everybody say one. Good job. Okay. And then we have here. Let us trace the number and count the number. As you can see, we have here a one ball. Okay, so that is the number one. It's only one because there is only one ball. So if you are going to write and trace the number, it should be start from here and then go down. So that is very easy to write the number one. And then if we are going to spell the word one, it's zero, O, N, E. Again, O, N, E, one. That's right. Now let's do have some activities for this. Okay, so I hope you are going to participate with our activity for today. So we have here, as you can see, there is a dolphin. There is a dolphin. But how many dolphin is there? Okay, we have some choices. Okay, we have here A, two, B, three, C, one. Okay, which of the following is the correct answer? 
representing the number of Adolphian. Okay, which one is the correct answer? Is it A, 2, B, 3, C, 1? And the correct answer is letter? That's right. It's letter C. Very good. Everybody, please clap your hands. That's right. Okay, another one. There is an apple. There is an apple. And how many apple is there? Okay, let's do have a choices. A, one. B, two. C, three. Which of the following is the correct answer? Is it A, one? B, two, three, C, uh, uh, C, three. The correct answer is letter A. Very good. Because it's only one. Now, let's proceed. Now, we have here, as you can see on your screen, there is a trace and write the number one. So that is very simple. You're just going to follow the dot and then you can fill in and complete this number for you to be able to master how to write the number. But don't worry, in, in your worksheet, there is an activity there how to write and trace the number one and of course the number two. Is it clear? That's right. Now let us proceed to another one. Okay, what number is this? This is number two. But how you are going to write the word two? Can you remember how to write the number two? Okay, it starts with letter T. That's right. Next, it starts with letter W and then to be followed by O. Everybody say two. Two. Very good. So that is number two. All right, let us trace the number and count the number. Okay, there are two balls. As you can see, there are two balls on your screen. So you have to write the number two. Very good. So this is how you are going to trace and write the number two. That's very easy. I know you really love and enjoy writing the numbers. All right. How we are going to spell the word number two? It's letter T, W, and O. Everybody say two. Good job. Very good. Now let's do have an activity for writing the number and trace the number two. Okay, as you can see, there are two flowers. There are two flowers. But the question is, what are the choices or the selection of this answer for you to be able to find the correct answer? As you can see, it is representing the number two. There are two flowers. Okay, let's see the choices. A, four. B, two. C, three. Again, there are two flowers, but which of the following is the correct answer? Is it A, four, B, two? C, three. 
That's right. The correct answer is letter B. It's two. Good job. Next. There, is, there are two buffalo. And how many buffalo are there? Yes, it is. There are two buffaloes. But the question is, which of the following is the correct answer? Let's see. A. One. B. Two. C. Three. Again, there are two buffaloes. And which of the following is the correct answer? Is it A? One. Is it B? Two. Is it C? Three. And the correct answer is letter. Very good. It's letter B. Because the picture represents or shows the number of two buffaloes. Everybody clap our hands. Very good. Okay, let's do have here. And how you are going to trace and write the number two. Yes, there is an example here. And it's so very easy. You are going to follow only the dot points. And this would become a correct number two. So that is show and tells you and help you how to write the number two. Okay, very good. Okay, so this afternoon, let's do have a, 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 a happy yes and big activity for here. Are you ready? Very good, okay. Count the object and which of the following is the correct answer. And then you have to tell me what is the correct answer. And you have to choose the letter of the correct answer. All right? So this is number two. And which of the following represent the correct answer of number two? A. B. C. So there are three choices. There are one, there is one pencil, there are three leaves, and there are two puppies. Which of the following is the correct answer? Is it A? Is it B? Is it C? That's right. The correct answer is letter C. Very good. Next. This is number. That's right. And then let us, let us see the choices of the answer. Is it A? B? And C? Which of the following is the correct answer? Is it A? Is it B? Or is it C? That's right. The correct answer is Letter C. Okay, let's do have another one. Oh, this is number. Very good. It's number one. But which of the following represent the correct answer? Is it A? Is it B? Is it C? Oh, 
all of the choices are, it's a turtle, but which of the following is the correct answer? Represent the number. And the correct answer is letter? That's right. It's letter A. Very good. Everybody, please clap your hands. Good job. Next, another one. Which of the following is the correct answer based on the numbers given? Is it A? Is it B? Or is it C? Okay, the correct answer is letter. Very good, it's letter C. There are two puppies. Okay, how about this one? So there is here. That's right. So we have here another one for your activities. Okay. And this one. Okay. All right. It is number two. Okay. Let's see the choices. Is it A? Is it B? Or is it C? Okay, which of the following is the correct answer? A, B, or C? That's right. It's letter B is the correct answer. There are two stars. Another one. Oh, how about this one? Can you read it? Okay, let's see. So which of the following represent the word? Is it A? There is a K. Is it B? There are an ice cream. Is it C? There are sweeties. Okay, the correct answer is it's letter. That's right. It's letter A is the correct answer because you are going to read the word it's one. Everybody say one. How do we spell the word one? It's O N E. It's one. So the correct answer is letter A because there is only one cake. Do you like to eat cake? Yes, of course. Okay, another one. How about this one? Can you read it? Okay, let us see the choices. Is it A, a candies? Is it B, or is it C? So which of the following is the correct answer represent to the word that given? And the correct answer is, it's letter C, very good, because there are two hands. Next. So that's it. Now you know how to read and write the numbers. And of course, how to spell the correct spelling of the word one and two. And you are also able to write correctly how to trace the numbers of one and two. 
on your worksheet, there will be having there a trace the number and count and trace the number. So I hope you enjoy our lesson for today and that's all for today. Just stay at home and goodbye. Bye-bye. So we have here, thank you so much for this. And then that's all for today.